Is Puerto Rico a country? Is Puerto Rico a country? This is a question that has been hotly debated in the media and on social media. Puerto Rico's status as a country has been long contested, but recently there has been more controversy than ever before. The official name of the island is Commonwealth of Puerto Rico. This means that it is an organized, self-governing territory of the United States with its own constitution, laws, and government system. However, since 1952, Puerto Ricans have not been allowed to vote for president or vice president. In addition to this lack of political power, there are many other factors that make it difficult for Puerto Ricans to consider themselves part of their own country. So today, in this video, we will be discussing more about the current status of Puerto Rico as a country, its history, and what lies for it ahead. So without further ado, let's get into it. History. The history of Puerto Rico began with the arrival of Christopher Columbus to the New World in 1493 and lasted until 1898 when the island was seceded to the United States as a result of the Spanish-American War. The first European settlement on Puerto Rico was established by explorer Juan Ponce de Leon, who arrived on the island in 1508. For nearly two centuries thereafter, Puerto Rico remained under Spanish rule. During that time, it became a major hub for sugar production and served as a launching point for several military campaigns aimed at conquering neighboring islands, such as Cuba and Hispaniola. In 1898, following Spain's defeat in the Spanish-American War, Puerto Rico was ceded to America as part of a treaty agreement. The new American rulers promptly imposed strict martial law on the rebellious population and instituted sweeping changes to both government policy and society at large. The these included everything from banning smoking in public places to establishing English as a primary language taught in schools. In 1917, residents of Puerto Rico were granted U.S. citizenship and were allowed to elect their own governor. However, ultimate authority still rested with the U.S. President and Congress. This arrangement continued until 1952 when Puerto Rico became a U.S. territory with Commonwealth status. However, even now, the U.S. government holds authority related to certain external affairs such as trade, currency, and immigration. Geography and Climate The island of Puerto Rico is located in the northeastern Caribbean Sea. It is east of the Dominican Republic and west of both the U.S. Virgin Islands and British Virgin Islands. Puerto Rico is about 170 kilometers long and 60 kilometers wide, which accounts for a total area of 8,868 square kilometers and a population density of about 510 per square mile, 300 square kilometers. The capital city is San Juan, with a population of just over 400,000 people. However, nearly two-thirds of Puerto Ricans live outside the metropolitan area in smaller towns and rural areas across the island. The climate in Puerto Rico varies depending on location and elevation, but generally speaking, it can be described as tropical with little seasonal variation throughout the year. Temperatures average around 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 27 degrees Celsius during daytime hours, dropping to around 70 degrees Fahrenheit 21 degrees Celsius at night. However, humidity level is high, which can make it feel even hotter than what thermometers read. There is also some variability between regions with coastal areas being slightly cooler than inland locations due to sea breezes. Government The government of Puerto Rico is a republican form of government with three branches, executive, legislative, and judicial. There are two main political parties in Puerto Rico, the New Progressive Party, PNP, which favors U.S. statehood, and the Popular Democratic Party, PDP, which favors maintaining Commonwealth status with some autonomy from the U.S. federal government. The Legislative Assembly has two chambers, the House of Representatives with 51 members elected to serve four-year terms and the Senate with 27 members elected to serve four-year terms. Members of both houses are chosen through direct election by popular vote on a partisan basis as part of the general elections held every even-numbered year. Senators must be at least 25 years old while representatives must be at least 21 years old. There is no limit to how many times an individual may run for office, but they may only hold one seat at any given time. People and Culture 
the people of Puerto Rico are known for their warm hospitality, friendly nature, and love of family. Puerto Ricans are proud of their heritage and traditions, which include music, dance, food, and art. The island of Puerto Rico is home to many different cultures and ethnic groups. Spanish is the official language spoken by the majority of the population, however, English is also widely spoken. There are also significant populations of African descent, as well as those from other Caribbean islands, such as Jamaica and Haiti. Puerto Rican culture has been influenced by many factors, including its location at the crossroads of the Atlantic Ocean and Caribbean Sea, its long history under Spanish colonial rule, and its close ties to both North America, the United States, and Latin America. As a result, it shares many similarities with both regions while still maintaining a unique identity. Puerto Rico, a Commonwealth or a Free Associated State the island of Puerto Rico is situated in the northeastern Caribbean Sea. It is east of the Dominican Republic and west of both the United States Virgin Islands and British Virgin Islands. Puerto Rico, Spanish for rich port, consists of an archipelago that includes the main island of Puerto Rico and a number of smaller islands, including Viquez, Culebra, Mona, Desecho, and Caja de Muertos. The capital city is San Juan. Other notable towns include Pocian Mayaguez. The Commonwealth status quo has existed since 1952 when Puerto Ricans voted to become a U.S. territory instead of seeking full independence or free association with America as it had done before 1898 when it was ceded to Washington by Spain following the Spanish-American War. In 1967, another referendum showed strong support, 60%, for remaining a U.S. territory, but also revealed deep divisions on what kind of political relationship should exist between San Juan and Washington, with nearly 40% backing statehood, while just over 5% wanted complete independence from America. A third vote held in 1998 resulted in 50% to 46% victory for those supporting none of the above, which meant maintaining Commonwealth status. But this margin was much narrower than previous plebiscites on the same issue. Supporters say PR's current unique position allows more self-government than U.S. states enjoy, while giving residents many benefits associated being part American polity, such as citizenship and access social security system. They can also serve in the military, although cannot vote presidential elections, nor have voting representation in Congress. Opponents argue that after 100 years under the American flag, it's time to move towards fuller integration into the Union, either via statehood or some form free association, which would still recognize close ties between two countries. The Future of Puerto Rico with a population of just over 3 million people, the economy of Puerto Rico has been struggling for many years, and the government is deeply in debt. In 2017, Puerto Rico defaulted on its debt payments and declared bankruptcy. The future of Puerto Rico is uncertain. The island faces many challenges, including a high unemployment rate, poverty, crime, and infrastructure problems. Many young people are leaving Puerto Rico to find better opportunities elsewhere. If the current trends continue, chances are pretty slim for Puerto Rico to become an independent country within the next few decades. However, there are also signs that things may improve on the island. For example, tourism has been growing in recent years as more visitors come to experience its culture and natural beauty. Conclusion that's it. Although it would be great for Puerto Rican people to get recognized as citizens of a free state, however, economic conditions don't make it quite viable. Moreover, if the U.S. decides to stop supporting this island in such crucial times, the economic conditions could become far worse than in 2017. Thank you all for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. This is Learning Canteen.